The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Market Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN Wednesday morning, 8.30 a.m., 60 minutes to go until that opening bell and markets charging higher in a big way. The Dow Jones leading the way. The Dow up about 2% right now. 524 points in the green, above 27,000 at 27,015. S&P futures up 43 points, 1.4% 1 almost at 3,226. NASDAQ futures up 64 points, 10,071. We've got oil in positive territory, up 62 cents at 40.91. The bonds yielding 0.65 percent right now you're looking at a gold contract off about four dollars at 1808 and we'll start things off we'll start it off with the chart of the s p 3227 you know what we'll start it off with the headline of the morning it was the headline of yesterday afternoon moderna coming out with their information in terms of vaccine trial it's phase one 45 people so keep that in context in terms of early in the process but encouraging data nonetheless you had potential vaccine it produced neutralizing antibodies in all 45 patients in its early stage human trial. So from there, of course, many more phases need to go. But you received uh, 15 people in three different categories of dosing, 25, 100, and 250 micrograms, all of them producing neutralizing antibodies, the important antibodies, which you believe bring immunity and uh, after two vaccinations, uh, robust immune response in all participants. So the market gets that news and it accelerates higher. You see the jump from where futures closed and open within an hour of that news, you trade up. We're now trading at 32.28, we just hit 32.30. So for some context here, we are right up where we were when we had the highs of early June. 32.31 was the high on June 9th, and you're looking at 30, 32.31.25 is the high on June 8th. From there, we know where we went. South is where we went, and right now, we just came within about a point to that level trading at 32.28 in those S&Ps. The Dow climbing up to those levels as well. We're back above 27,000. I have a Fibonacci on here from before, but you can see before I delete it, right? 618. Bounce right off that level. We're now right at a 786, 27,091. We're sitting at 27,026. The NQs were at 10,717, about 300 points from the all time high, 10,000, excuse me, 11,058. Checking in on the VIX this morning. The volatility index, 2814, pairing some of those gains we had. Quite a spike yesterday, 3367, just like that. We're sitting at 2814 right now in the SPs. Okay, in terms of what else we have going on in the market, Goldman out with their earnings this morning, their shares surging as earnings blow past the street on best trading results in years. Following up the lead that JP Morgan set yesterday, bank earned 626 a share, blowing past the Wall Street estimate. Uh, revenue 13.3 billion, 41% more than a year ago. Trading drove those gains with fixed income revenue coming in at 4.24 billion. Uh, equities trading 2.94 billion. Investment banking 2.66. Goldman trading higher. Uh, so set aside 1.59 billion for potential credit losses due to the coronavirus. So earnings 378 a share. Revenue 9.75 billion. Fixed income, just staggering across the board. Goldman, and with a market that's just plowing higher, Goldman up about $9 right now from the 214 close yesterday, trading at 223.23. Let's just check in on some of the other banks. Yeah, JP Morgan crushed it yesterday and finished almost even this morning though you're trading up about two dollars now with that moderna news you're getting a lot of stocks like the airlines trading dramatically higher on that potential from 31.74 for united we're above 34 american airlines right look at that spike on that news from 11.60 we're up about a dollar to 12.57 delta airlines 26 and change to 27.73 even the domestic airlines JetBlue. some of the uh i mean that's like a what 
twelve percent jump, thirteen percent jump. Carnival. 15 to 16.30, so big moves across the board on that news. And this market, it's just creeping all morning. The S&P's up now, approaching 47 points. Uh, quite a far cry, folks. You almost can't overstate. Yesterday morning, we pulled up the chart, right? The VIX was sitting at 33 and change as things looked pretty dire, 31.20 in those S&Ps. And quite a day yesterday, and if you look at where we were, 31.19, we are now 110 points above that in the S&Ps within the span of 24 hours. That is an acceleration. When you look at the Dow, where we were yesterday, you're down at a low of 25,900. You jump past 26,000 and you jump past 27,000 in the span of 24 hours in that market. What else we have going on? Apple, quite a court victory. I was joking with some friends this morning. I said, I wonder what the legal bill is like when you win a $15 billion court case for your client. Uh, Apple wins a tax battle with the EU as the court annuls a 2016 order to pay $15 billion to Ireland. The European Commission said in 2016 that Ireland had enabled Apple to pay substantially less tax than other businesses over many years, but the EU's general court decided that the commission failed to prove that the Irish government had given the U.S. tech giant a tax advantage. Nonetheless, Apple, $15 billion, that, I'm sure, a few uh, handshakes and high fives around the board on that news. Apple, with the market, you're trading at $395 right now, $399.82, that high. Let's jump around to some of the tech stocks this morning. 209.25 for Microsoft shares from 208 yesterday. Amazon the giant, 3,080. So pretty, pretty uh, flat for Amazon, which you would be encouraging to see if you're an Amazon shareholder because Amazon has accelerated so much higher when the market's been in trouble, right? When coronavirus looks like it's gonna be the worst of the worst, Amazon has benefited from that, the stock trades higher. Well, we have some really encouraging news out there about a potential vaccine, long way to go, but pretty encouraging. And you have Amazon trading flat, not even down, trading right now at 3,080 from 3,084. Gotta check in on Tesla shares. Tesla holding up relatively well, above 1,500, 1,544, uh, you know, you, you this is right kind of in the range that we traded at all of yesterday, actually above that range, but you see where we were pre-market. I don't, I don't know if 1800 is a fair price. That was a quick acceler acceleration, but 1500, 1400, maybe that is a fair price for Tesla in the long term. Uh, one of the fan favorites for sure. Mortgage rates out this morning set a yet another record low. Uh, home buyers pulling back though, stunning. I mean, just staggering. 3.19% you're looking at for the 30 year fixed rate mortgage applications to refinance a home loan. Most sensitive to weekly rate moves jumped 12% for the week. We're 107% higher than a year ago. Total mortgage applications volume rose 5.1% last week compared with the previous week. Uh, staggering numbers, if you have the ability to refinance, you haven't in a while, it's pretty remarkable that that just keeps accelerating lower on the 30-year. The 10-year yield, like I said, 0.65% right now. You're looking at the 10-year trading, 139.05, down from 139.16 yesterday. Stay tuned, folks. We'll come back from the break, see what else we have on tap for Wednesday trading. Lots of action. Stay tuned, folks. I'll be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Shame on me, I do. Okay, we'll start it over. Perfect. S&P is positive by 45. Dow positive by 536. I was just mentioning the acceleration we've had since 6 a.m. this morning. You were trading at 3,200 on the dot. We're about 30 points above that level, almost a full percent from even where we were this morning. You see the gap last night. We close out the session last night at give or take around 3185. We open it up at 6 o'clock at 3204. We're within a few points of that level at 6 a.m. And things just been plowing to the upside. And as I mentioned, we're right up there near the highs. If you get above 3231.25, I believe, is that our high? There's 3231 on June 9th, 3231.25. So you're within three and a quarter points of that level. You will be trading at a price level that you have not seen since february 25th which is remarkable uh to think about but that's where it would put us back in the market from the low of 2174 in those s p's okay what else we got going on let's see so tax day i saw this come up if you got an extension if you didn't file them today's the day from april 15th we got 90 day extension today july 15th tax day on july 15th due to the coronavirus what else we got going on stark numbers out there this morning in terms of the coronavirus record day 67,400. not the kind of record you want to be setting for new coronavirus cases we're averaging 62,210 new cases per day over the past seven days of course, Texas, California, Florida accounted for a total of 31,000, just the three states on Tuesday. I mean, you jump into it in terms of the Florida numbers. Florida, this was yesterday, setting a single day record of coronavirus deaths with 132, adds 9,100 new cases yesterday. Pulling up the actual report, you're looking at a median age of 41 now. And I stress median because if it was the average age, that number's probably gonna be higher, okay? Because you have a lot of people that are 70 or 80, um, and the median is just the middle number of all the people. If you actually average the ages, that number would be higher. That means half the people fall above 
the age of 41, half the people fall below the age of 41. Percentage positive yesterday, stark numbers there, 15.02%. You don't want to see that. Uh, we saw huge testing numbers on the 11th and 12th in terms of the actual numbers of tests. That did bring the positive numbers down, still only 11%, though. You want to be under 10. You really want to be under 5. Um, we'll see where that goes. You, you, you pull up the death totals, though. You saw the headline in terms of single-day death record, 132 added. There are the numbers in terms of cases, deaths, definitely a rising number. Now, I bring all that up because the CDC is saying that, you know, and this is where this is spreading. But if you get it under control, one to two months, everybody wears a mask. It would it would help essentially in a big way. And maybe that gets control under these numbers because being in Florida, folks, um, it, it's it's. A way of life right now to be aware of what's going on with those types of numbers in a big way. All right, what else we got going on? Head on over to the front page of TFNN. I just started my newsletter, a report. Every week it comes out. I'm putting out daily updates, at least for the first couple weeks. Going to look to build some positions in there, longer term and shorter term, coming into earnings. We get Netflix earnings tomorrow. Uh, Rocket Equities and Options report, and I got a great deal going on. You can save 50 percent with the with the promo code ROCKET. Get in there as a charter member, R-O-C-K-E-T. Add the code, you'll see the savings reflected. And the best part is you lock that in for the life of your subscription. You still get a 30-day money back guarantee. Please try it out. If you're not happy with it, if it just doesn't suit what you're looking for, we all have our own trading methodology. Um, cancel, you can request a money back guarantee, no questions about it. And I appreciate anybody that gives me a shot at that and the support out there. So check that out on the front page of TFNN.com. Some of my favorite stocks out there that I'm always taking a look at, Disney shares charging higher. Disney uh, in, the, in the epicenter of it all, right? You're in... There's your short-term action, charging higher on the Moderna news from 118.66. You were below 115 on the open yesterday, and you're going to open above 122 on Disney right now. Quite a pop from Tuesday. You saw the acceleration, though, on Monday from 121 down to 116 on Monday. You open at 115 on Tuesday. Disney would benefit tremendously. Florida, I don't know how... Uh, you know, there aren't going to be as many people, to put it lightly, traveling to Florida to go to Disney. But the thing is, right now, I believe they're only open for pass holders and people who had already bought a ticket can reserve space because it's so limited. But then, of course, you look at the parks, you look at Disney Plus, Disney out with their earnings, I think August 4th or August 6th. Um, and so we'll see how that hits. Uber shares, ride sharing, trading higher as well from 3093. We're going to open above 32 on Uber. Lyft, Trading from about 27.51 to 29, all these travel-related stocks, right? Lyft, ride-sharing, all that stuff. Excuse me, very, very hard in terms of the impact they have to endure, just like some of the airlines. We'll jump over to Boeing. Look at this acceleration, right? Boeing needs to see things open back up. I mean, just I, I said just from a personal perspective, following the news, all the there's a lot of negative news going on in the world right now. Um, it was pretty encouraging data, Moderna, last night. And, you know, my friend rightly saying, so uh, I don't want to get excited over a phase one study yet again, right? It's a phase one study. A phase three study is thousands of people that are tested with placebos and so forth. All they did was they gave it to 45 people. We'll see how that plays out. But encouraging data, if all of them had neutralizing antibodies, didn't seem to be too harsh of an impact, and hopefully everyone gets on board. The next battle, folks, is going to be making sure that we can get this under control and maybe people trust the vaccine um, to be safe because vaccines, unfortunately, a little bit of a problem right now in our country, the attitude some people have towards vaccines at a time like this. But the market, loving that news. We're up at about 187 from 179 last night on Boeing shares. Jumping around to some of the other stocks in terms of Nike, you're trading from 96.50 to 98.26 this morning. Checking around to some of the staples. How about McDonald's, right? Look at these charges. From 184 yesterday, McDonald's almost. You're going to open almost at 195. Uh, Starbucks shares to 74, I mentioned. Let's see, what else are we going to jump around to? Some of the banks, as I mentioned, out with their numbers. And let's just pull up real quick. Yeah, so we had Goldman Sachs. What else do you have? You also had, I believe, USB uh, with their numbers. U.S. Bank Corp trading higher from 36.50 to 37.50. PNC with some volatility on their numbers up to 104, back to 102.16. I think we got UNH. Did we get UNH Health? Let's see. What do they come in with? 
All right, so earnings, they were looking for 515. They made 712. Uh, trading at 309, not sure of like the volatility there. Is, is a vaccine potentially not good for UNH? I mean, look at this, right? From 300 down to 187, back to 300. Pretty much flat on a lot of volatility, their earnings, and the fact that we might get a vaccine for COVID that has a potential in the long term to be uh, a game winner. We'll see. All right, stay tuned, folks. I'm going to be coming back from the break right now. S&Ps, did we hit it yet? Where's our high? We did, 32.32.25. That brings us back all the way to February, folks. Last time we were trading at 32.32. Stay tuned. We come back after the break, see what else we have on tap. We got oil inventories at 10.30 as well. We're going to take a look at crude in a moment. Stay tuned. Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Bam! If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. We got those S&Ps up 48 points at 32.31 right now. You're looking at a Dow positive by 5.58, NASDAQ and Qs positive by 77. Taking a look at oil, $40.91. Looking all the way back to where we were on January 8th, 65.65. I mean, right, 65.65 down to 6.5. That works out. We're, we're the 65s, right? Why not? Uh, the low, April 21st. We've been up at this level though, 4092, right? You back it up. I mean, look at the month of June. 
4044 was the high. We made it up to 4163, 4108, 4095, 4108, 4099. Critical level, especially coming into crude numbers. 1030 AM, we got inventory numbers. Always an interesting time in that crude market. You back this up, this is a daily. You back it up to last week in terms of, let's see, what was our day? Here was your Wednesday action on crude last week. You made it up to 4108 on that number. Our high today, 41 on the dot for crude. Jumping around other commodities, taking a look at gold. Gold, I mean, look at that daily chart, right? Uh, just yesterday, I was playing around with some charting. Quite an uptrend here since June 5th. You just traded from 1671 up to 1830. We're sitting right at that level in gold, down three dollars today, but 1810, just kind of hanging out above this 1800 area in gold. Silver up 19 pennies. Look at that acceleration from 1164. You even zoom it in this past month. June 15th, you're trading at 1701. You're almost at twenty dollars in silver. Jumping over to that note market, bond market, we're just hanging, folks, hanging up near these highs at 139.05. This market here, June 5th, that's when we reached a yield of 0.9%, actually. Market said, no, 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 we're much more comfortable with a yield at around 0.65%. Stay tuned, folks. We got our man Larry Pesavento coming up live next with Trade What You See. We had quite a day in the markets. Stay tuned. We got Larry coming up next. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. We got crew numbers at 1030. Fast Market by TD Ameritrade. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien all this afternoon. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. Larry Pesavento, he's coming up live next.